Welcome to the audio map for Cuba Dupa 2024. Cuba Dupa is New Zealand's most vibrant arts festival. It's an exciting celebration of music, dance, theatre, arts, culture and food from Wellington and all over the world. Cuba Dupa is a big busy day with many stages, roving performers and crowds enjoying the atmosphere. Take care of yourself and let someone know if you're feeling overwhelmed. There are dedicated chill out areas where you can find a quiet space to rest and first aid and help is always available. Shady spots on site fill up fast. Be sun smart, stay hydrated and make sure you bring a hat and sunscreen. Cuba Dupa will take place on Saturday 23rd and Sunday 24th of March 2024. The event begins at midday on Saturday and finishes at midnight. On Sunday, the program starts at 12pm and finishes at 6pm. Cuba Dupa is located in Cuba Street and the surrounding cross streets. Most of the streets in this area are closed to traffic, so you can walk down the middle of the road. For those using wheelchairs, this means you won't need to navigate curb cuts as much as you usually would. Public transport will be running although the bus route will slightly vary to what you're used to. The closest bus stops are on Taranaki Street and some routes will be rerouted to Wakefield Street. Manners Street is closed. Visit metlink.org.nz for the most up-to-date information regarding bus routes. There are accessible drop-off and pick-up zones. The first one is at 13 Abel Smith Street, just after Taranaki Street. The second is in the Victoria Street slip lane leading into Guzney Street. The third is at 139 Victoria Street between McDonald's and the bus stop. The fourth is at Luke's Lane off Taranaki Street. The fifth is at Marion Street off Guzney Street. The last two zones are at both ends of Abel Smith, one from Victoria Street and one from Taranaki Street. It's time to explore the site. Let's start from the top of Cuba and make our way down. Just before Abel Smith Street, on your left, you will find one of our first aid tents. At the Abel Smith intersection, at 45 Abel Smith, you will find the Southern Cross Carnival Central. This is located in the car park next to Southern Cross Bar. Southern Cross has an accessible toilet you are welcome to use. If you continue down Abel Smith, you will find toilets at the corner of Abel Smith and Wigan Street. At 70 Abel Smith Street, you will find the garage, a grungy hangout area filled with performances from the Jewel School DJ Collective. On the 24th, Abel Smith Street will also host the Sunday Street Market, full of gorgeous art and craft designed and made by local artists from across the Wellington region. Now, we'll make our way down Cuba Street towards Vivian Street. There will be food and retail stalls located on the left and right side footpath and on every other block of Cuba Street. Remember, the road is closed, and the footpath will be taken up by stallholders, so you'll be making your way down the middle of the road. Sometimes parades will come by, and there will be dancing and roaming performances happening around you too. On your right, at 241 Cuba Street, you will find Sweet Courtyard. There will be a queue to get into Sweet Gallery, where DJs will be playing from Saturday afternoon into the night. Sweet Gallery is wheelchair accessible, but the courtyard has gravel ground. At 202-204 Cuba Street, on the left, you will find Booth House. The secret little spot will be filled with spellbinding bands, art exhibitions, parades, and flash dancing. Now we've made our way down this block, we're standing at the intersection of Cuba Street and Vivian Street. It's important to note that Vivian Street is open to traffic. There will be temporary barriers in place between you and the road, which will be manned by Cuba Duper staff. Once it's safe to cross, they will move the barriers for you to cross the street. Once you've crossed Vivian Street safely, turn right and head towards Valhalla, which is at 154 Vivian Street. There are two stages at Valhalla. Bands will be playing inside and DJs will be playing outside at the back of the venue. Please note that there are potholes down the driveway to access the outdoor stage. Let's head back to Cuba Street. As you walk down at 171 Cuba Street, on your right, you will find San Fran Venue, where music will be running until late. Please note this venue is not wheelchair accessible, and there are two steep flights of stairs up to the venue. Turn left at Garrett Street to find Glover Park. There is a curb cut around number 2 Garrett Street, 
which gives you accessible entry into the park. The park has concrete and grass areas, wooden benches, and is on a slant down to the stage. The entire park is licensed, but it's open to all ages. If you're over 18, you can buy alcoholic drinks at the Rogan Vagabond. There is also an accessible bathroom at the Rogan Vagabond. We'll head back to Cuba Street now and explore the Wellington Airport Na Tanifa stage, which is in the Swan Lane car park. Some landmarks to help you remember this are Floridita's Cafe and Best Ugly Bagels. The whole car park is licensed. The main entry point will be down the laneway across from Floridita's. We'll continue towards Guzney Street. A Wellington City Council drinking fountain is located at the intersection of Cuba Street and Guzney Street. It has a bottle filler on the side for your water bottle. At the intersection of Cuba and Guzney, turn right and head towards Taranaki Street. Coming up on your left is the Wilson Car Park, which is usually full of cars. This is where you'll find the Kai Court, which is perfect for people of all ages. Bring the whole family along for some delicious Kai activities, enjoy the live painting, and get your festival fix at Fortune Favors Garden Bar. A little further down Guzney, turn right at Marion Street, and on the left side of this street, next to Bicycle Junction, we have the Garage Project Wild Workshop Stage. This is an accessible venue. We'll head back to Guzney Street and make our way down Leeds Street. Just before you get to Leeds Street Bakery, on the left, will be our Kids Zone. This will be a spot filled with children's activities throughout the day and a nice area for families to relax for a moment. Next, we arrive at Hannah's Courtyard, which is halfway down Leeds Street. This area will come to life through the festival with dance, orchestras, parades and pop-up performances. Leeds Street is currently under construction and we advise going through Cooper Mall if you are looking for an accessible route through the festival site towards Aro Park. We're going to go back to the intersection of Cuba and Guzney Street now so we can check out what's happening in Cuba Mall. The businesses in Cuba Mall will have stalls on the street too and it can be a particularly busy section of the festival with obstacles such as the bucket fountain and raised urban gardens. Make your way down Cuba Mall and stop at Hotel Bristol, which will host iGum Music Collective, a stage featuring rock, indie and funk acts. Hotel Bristol also has an accessible bathroom that you are welcome to use. Let's continue down Dixon Street towards Te Awaha, which is number 65 Dixon Street. The chill zone is located in the garage, which is down the hallway to the right of the staircase. This is a quiet, chill-out space where you can hang out, de-stress and relax. There will be maps, Wi-Fi, seating, water, accessible toilets and a place to charge your phone. Thank you to Te Awaha for providing this space. At the intersection of Cuba and Dixon Street, we're going to take a right and head towards Eva Street where you will find El Barrio and Eva Beaver where DJs will be playing until late. Let's continue down Dixon Street towards Taranaki Street. On your left, at Te Aro Park, you will find the Na Toi o Te Aro stage. This space is dedicated to kaupapa Māori and indigenous performers. Keep in mind that the Te Aro Park has some raised concrete seating and water features, so take care. Further down Dixon Street, you will find the Jack Hackett's Capital Blues stage. Jack Hackett's also has an accessible bathroom you are welcome to use. This brings us to the end of the site. We're really excited to share Cuba Duper with you. You can find all the information at cubadupa.co.nz. For detailed info, check out the accessibility tab on our website. If you have any questions regarding accessibility, email accessibility at ccat.org.nz.